Yeah, hello there, my name is Wookie and and this is The Raven and the Light. So this is a game that I found on Game Jolt. I get a lot of games on Game Jolt. Ooh. And I quite like them. Alternate hands to run. What? Ooh, that seems interesting. So. Oh, okay, rather than British Columbia, Canada. 2.16 a.m. August 3rd, 1974. Precious blood I'm gonna get run off the road. I'm just calling it now. Percussive maintenance. <laughs> My favorite kind of maintenance. Wait a minute. What was, what was that? Oh, hello. What did I say? Oh, that's a steep hill. Okay, so am I going for... Well, I guess there's a path over here, so... Oh, hi. Go away. That just sounds like a... Oh! Why is it not... It's not exactly running. That is the strangest running mechanic I have ever seen. Let's head further away from the road. I'm assuming those are supposed to be wolves. But they just kind of seem like angry doggies. Wait, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'm somehow outrunning. Oh, God. Eat my words, I guess. I was about to say I'm somehow outrunning an apex predator, but you know. I feel like I'm screwing this up somehow.
miss me. Call this juking. Come on. I'm assuming this I'm heading somewhere and I'm not just like running away from dogs this whole game. There's a bridge. Maybe they're afraid of water. They're not afraid of water. Wild dogs have literally no issue with water. Oh, that looks like it's gonna break. I'm gonna walk. Yeah, cause there's like a big asshole over there, so we're gonna walk. myself fully turned around. <laughs> it's very easy to do that in some games. Like, super easy. Like, um, if there's not a super noticeable difference in terrain or, like, your surroundings, it is super easy to just get completely flipped around. Let me tell you the story of the raven and the lion. Okay. Let me hear it. In the beginning, the world was covered with an inky, deep, all-consuming dark, blacker than a thousand stormy winter nights. All the light in the world was kept locked away by a selfish little man who lived in a big lodge on the mountain with his daughter. And the raven knew that the people could not grow crops and survive without the light. And so he decided that he would steal the light and release it into the world. The raven transformed into a tiny seed and dropped himself into a nearby stream where the daughter drank him up. Inside the girl's form, the raven grew for months until out he came as a baby boy. Overjoyed to have a grandchild, he loved him as his own. Then one day, the raven child found where the man was hiding the light, and he burst out crying. The man did everything he could to calm the child. He noticed the baby boy was looking at the bags of light, so he quickly gave him the smallest one. The raven played with the bag on the floor until it opened up, and out came all the stars which flew up and out of the smoke hole of the lodge to place themselves in the sky where they are to this day. The baby started crying once more. The man darted with the second bag and passed it to him. Do not let this one go, he said nervously. The raven child knocked the bag around on the floor for a while and then out shot the moon through the smoke hole and into the sky. Again, the raven child began to cry, and because the man would do anything for his grandson, he gave him the last bag. The raven did not hesitate to open the bag, and the lodge filled with an unimaginable brightness as the sun shot through the smoke hole and into the sky, lighting the world for the very first time. Ah! cried the baby 
as he transformed back into the raven and flew out of the smoke hole. The man was very angry for he had been fooled, but then when he looked upon his daughter's face for the first time and saw just how beautiful she was, he was overjoyed. It's my, my my favorite baby noise too. Ah! <laughs> Can find shelter at that pole. Where are we going? Mother Mary's boarding school for Indian children. This isn't scary at all. Oh yeah, we're in Native America, so, or we're in we're in um, Canada, so they would be talking about Native Americans. Dear diary, I've been um, in this school for ten years. It feels like it's been an eternity. I rarely see brother anymore. We're only four when we were only four when we got here. I remember thinking, at least uh, we would have each other when we were taken from our parents, but they seem to have done a fantastic job of keeping us apart as well. I remember for the first day. Of, uh, the first day of school, the first thing they uh, did was cut my hair so I looked exactly like everyone else. Next, uh, they put some thick white powder in my hair called DDT. It burned my head, uh, but they didn't let me touch it until the next day. They gave me a new name uh, to go with my new look, Number 64. If uh, I would ask for my parents, they would hit me. If I spoke my own language, I would be punished too. I had to learn English quickly or else. I heard one kid who uh, couldn't learn English fast enough got needles in his tongue. Compliments of Reverend Caldwell. The thing is Caldwell does to um, me makes me wish I had needles in my tongue. They told us they built the school on uh, the mountains so it would be closer to God, but I think the real reason is to keep us from running away. I, I promise I will find a way out of this hell. 64. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so... That is a thing, um, that happened, um, during, like, the times of colonization and whatnot. Why is there a fire lit in here? Is kids would get sent to, Native American children would be sent to these these boarding schools that would try and teach them, um, like the ways of the English and whatnot so that they, they'd be forced to learn English, um, not use their own language, those sorts of things. Um, they were not allowed to have their own names anymore. It happened to adults as well. I mean, so... What is that? Why is... I'm just... Why is there a fire? There's a singular log in here, and it's on fire. What's this? I need some form of light. I need something. Oh, hello. November 12th, 1938. The problem with the Indians is one of, of morality and religion. They lack the basic fundamentals of civilized thought and spirit, which explains their childlike nature and behavior. At our school, we strive to turn them into mature Christians who will learn how to behave in the world and surrender their barbaric uh, way of life and uh, their treaty rights, which keeps them from trapped on their land and in primitive existence. Only then will the Indian problem in our country be solved. Reverend Caldwell... That about sums it up. I will say that about sums it up. That that sums up a hell of a lot of colonization. Um, freaking Europeans saw the Native Americans as very backwards and primitive. So they, you know, of course they, they did the, the things that the one child was referring to in their letter um and worse I love how it suddenly started snowing can 
I just like climb into the? I want to climb into the fireplace. Like I, I look outside, and um, look out there, and it looks cold. It looks so cold. Okay, what is it? It is August twenty second. August twenty second here in Ohio, and it is already starting to get cold. Let me. Ch I'm. I'm gonna check. Okay, so I know it's, yeah, it's supposed to warm back up this weekend, but, like, okay, this next week's going to be warm, too. That's good. Okay. But, um, this past week, I, I went into work yesterday and the day before that, and I actually had to break out a hoodie, because it was cold. <laughs> it, we just had a random, like, cold day, and I'm like, I swear, if this is any hint that this winter is going to suck... Is there another door along here or something? Because that's the only other door I'm seeing is that one. I feel like what I need to do is take some of these other logs and chuck them into the fire. You know? Get myself nice and toasty. I am stuck in here. Okay. What is that? Oh, okay. I get it. So the letter is talking about they cut the the kid's hair. They cut the hair and they put in DDT. Um, if I remember right. So that was like one of those things that was used to kill lice. But it's one of those things that you're not supposed to put it on humans. Am I able to... No? What am I doing? Am I just stuck here? Oh, hello. Yeah, because I cannot see, for the life of me, any, like, half half of the room I can't see. Like, there's wood, and there's fire. That means that someone recently, fairly recently, has to have been through here. I'm looking at my because sometimes it uh, uh, most of the time games will show up brighter for you guys so I record the game and you guys will see a little bit more than I will actually no okay it looks like wall that's all wall So things are a little bit brighter and whatnot. What am I wearing? Is that my, like, am I wearing a long sleeve? Like, I can't tell if this is my arm, if, if it's my arm or if that's just my, or if I'm wearing some strange long elbow length gloves. <laughs> I was going to the opera when I crashed my car. Why do I have this strong feeling we're gonna deal with Caldwell? Okay, wait, so his I'm just I'm gonna check to make sure. Okay, yeah, so that it lines up pretty well. I can't like grab anything.
What do you say, Jesus? What do I do? It stopped making the crunching noise. But the slamming noise. I would most definitely... Why is it lighter over here? Like what? It's it's light. Like we get the. I'm assuming we're getting like the. It's supposed to be the light from the fire. Then I move over there, and then there's no light. What is happening? I would, however, most definitely, like, bring that other wood in. Definitely. If this was me, if this was my scenario, and I was, like, I came in here and there's already fire and there is, um, I've got wood. Um, like, I've got wood to burn. I would take the wood... And I'd move it all into there, into that room. I'd probably keep the letters and whatnot in there, too, just in case. Um, and... I, depending on the comfort of this rug, I might roll it up a little bit so that I have more over here. Just to keep myself warm until the day breaks. I'm hearing a clock. Hello. Did I just pick up keys? I think I just picked up keys. I heard keys. It sounded like keys. Oh, okay, there was a hook right there. So maybe they'll be... Because, like, you would not find me wandering around this place. Uh-uh. No way in hell. Yeah, there was, there, there's, like, a little... Let's see if I can see it again. Kind of, like, there. There it is. Okay, have these keys, what are they good for? Oh, hello. No. I just started up the record player. But it's not making music. I'm so confused. Wait, so was the... I wonder if, no, there's no, okay. I pressed escape to see if maybe there was a, like, option to turn up the gamma or anything. No, that's not a thing.
I don't like that. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I had to do my little dancey dance. Why does this place have light? Only one with, uh, one with a pure heart may enter and see his most inner self reflected back. Oh, that's interesting. It's not struck the hour. Screaming children. Dear sister Hildegard, uh, did you hear about Father Joseph? Mother Superior caught him with a couple of quite young boys Tuesday night, and she took him straight to the uh, Reverend Caldwell. Uh, the man, uh, man hardly had the time to button his knickers, of course. You and I know uh, the Reverend is predisposed to such things be, uh, himself, but at least he has a good mind to stick to the girls. You should have uh, been there. M Mother Superior was shouting up a storm you uh, could have hear every word from the hallway and mind you I'm not one to turn an ear but it's uh seems those lucky boys will those seems those lucky boys will safe from now on because um she actually was able to convince him to transfer to St. Agatha's these things do happen but uh all in all I do think the Indians are lucky with Indian uh the Indian Act we now know uh that every one of them gets food, shelter, and education in the love of God, whether it's whether their parents like it or not. If I uh, were them, I would be glad to welcome uh, civilization. I can't imagine being a savage like that, just living in the middle of nowhere, dirty and without God. I would just like one of them to th uh, thank us. It's not like we get a proper wage. It might be uh, as well be volunteer work. I'll write you to when I write to you when I can, Sister Jude. Okay, Sister Jude, I don't like you. Why is there a dead guy on the table? That's also the dead guy that made me crash. I'm only here because of you, dude. I don't want to walk under that sprayed with sparks. Nope. Mushroom. There's gossiping happening in the washroom. I want in on the tea. Let me in on the tea. He's gonna be gone, isn't he? No, he's still there. Is there a key or anything laying around?
Yes, there is. I'm sorry. Free lecture under aspects of no auspices of the uh, KKK by J.R.R. Johnson. Um, subject seven fundamental principles of our national life. Eugene Field Auditorium. Oh my gosh. Bye -bye. Rummaging through other people's things, I see. Yes. Like an animal. Yes. It seems you do take after 64 after all. I must say, I am rather disappointed. Your mother was a disgusting savage, but I expected more from you. You should be at least half civilized. Alas, it isn't our place to question the Lord's design. There must be some of me in you. Make me proud. Oh, there he goes. Am I 64 sibling? Now I've got all kinds of questions. Hey, big fella. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'm supposed to be afraid of you or not. But at the current moment, I'm not really afraid of you. Dear Diary, it's uh, now or never. I fear the nuns will soon realize that, uh, but they realize that it, I wasn't cut open the same, uh, the way some of the other girls were. I know that, uh, what they did to them, and I wish now that they had done it to me. However, now I carry the fate of two lives, and so I must act quickly. A few years ago, I followed a nun with a pick, a pink blanket into the basement. It was a newly born child. I'll never forget the pop it made when she threw it into the furnace. As I was running away, careful not to get caught, I couldn't help but notice tiny bones in the earthen walls. I need a uh, distraction. All I need is to distra uh, distract them with something they will care about far more than our lives, and I can slip out. When the church bells strike for supper, I won't be eating uh, the moldy bread like the other prisoners. I'll slip a note to my brother and uh, have him meet me outside by the flagpole. I've watched the trucks come and go uh, out the window, and I'm convinced we can make it uh, to the road. From there, it'll be easy. Then all three of us can have our lives back, and I'll make sure my children never, never come uh, comes back to this wretched mountain, 64 Okay, wait, now I'm confused. Because 64 is now mentioning not only their brother, but someone else. That's what I thought. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, hello.
so there's a... There's a vent up there that I've got to get into. See? But how do I get into it? Okay, let's try and figure that out before we read the note, because the note seems to be what triggers the event. Yeah, okay, 64 is mentioning a whole other person. I don't even want to fully mention what they were talking about um as to why the nun did what the nun did and how that happened that's one of those if you know you know sort of things and uh very easily de demonetizable on youtube even though i'm not monetized uh, that could still get me like a whole like that's bad no do do it don't do that um but Yeah, see, there's there's somewhere I gotta go up there, so it'll lead me into room two hundred four. Okay, now that's something. Pull with both hands. <sighs> Pull what with both hands? Wait a minute. Do we have, uh... Cause like, I can't move that. I wanna be honest with you, I cannot move that. I mean, I, I do have to assume I was the one that knocked that over. This raises a question, then, um, how far do I gotta get it, though? Maybe just to where that's scratched up? I'm gonna try that. But where would I jump from?
was like, I can't make that jump. barely like jump up there and grab it and pull myself up we'll see we'll try this again hopefully Does it not move? <laughs> like it moves sometimes and then other times it's just like, nah. Sister Hildegard, I can't believe how disgusted and disgusting these animals are. We give them everything and this is how they repay us. I thought we were civilizing them, but obviously we aren't doing a good job. It's going to take forever to repair all the uh, fire damage on the church. I heard the little rat even got away. Rumor is Reverend Caldwell caught her brother trying to sneak out the window during the fire and I can only imagine what he did to him. Uh, it was even the same boy Caldwell saved from uh, Father Joseph. All I know is I haven't seen him in my class since the fire and the scissors weren't very cl well cleaned when I used them this morning. The uh, other children better not get any ideas from this. One of the kids in my class today asked what happened to her. I told, her, uh, told him she jumped off the mountain and met the devil on the bottom. He had the nerve to keep asking so I made him stand outside in the cold and uh, with not even a sock on his foot. Uh, I couldn't help shout out the window. Can you see him from out there? Or do you need a push? Honestly, um, it's times like these. I wish we had a St. Agatha's electric chair. Oh, my God. I hope the other uh, 80 schools are doing better than ours right now. God help us, Sister Jude. Jesus, Sister Jude. You need help. Hey, buddy. <laughs> How'd you get in there? Okay. Oh, come on! Don't do that to me.
so what are we doing with him, Mr. Man? So he can phase through things. Oh no, the washroom. Hey, 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 hey. Would you quit it? Stop. I don't know what the hell that thing was. This game has very strange puzzles. I'll say that. So, don't go to the washroom. That's what I'm reading. I get it. You know, because I don't think I saw that little... I don't think I saw that in that little tutorial phase. Pumping my arms. Oh, hello. Maybe I can stab him in the eye with it. You're not supposed to do this! I would think take these scissors, because these ain't just scissors, these are freaking scissors, <laughs> and jam it into his eye. Oh no! 
I got a pure heart. Oh no. I just did something very bad. Oh, and now it's burning. The Oh, the chapel's burning. Oh God, what is this? Looks like you finally see now what you must become. Oh like God. Father like son. Isn't that what they say? You can't kill me. Like hell, I can't. I am you, and you are me. into my world. You allowed me to see beauty where there was only blackness. Hmm. Oh, the bags of light. Ah. The stars in the sky. Son, I think I'm dead. Oh no. Oh no. That was an interesting game. I'll give that was a very interesting game. Okay, so Sixty-four is, as far as I can tell, our character's mother. And the way she was stating it when she said, the three of us, like, get these three people out of here, she was meaning her, her brother, in her unborn child. I don't know if I got any of that right, but that that was that was a game that makes you think. It makes you reflect. <laughs> but that was the Raven in the Light. So um if you like that video, go ahead and um let me know if you guys have any other games you want me to play. Put them down in the comments below, and I'll take a look at them. 
Um, we are still trying to get to 300 subscribers by the end of this month, by the end of August. We have just a couple days left for that, just a little over a week left for that. So let's see if we can do it. But I am all out of time for this one. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.